Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and this is basically the second part of the uh, like uh, question which is which, like uh, which you're for solving in the previous video, okay? So uh, basically in the previous video we have seen the problem number one and two that basically what they were like asking from us and what it was the solution for these two questions which we have just seen in the part one for this video. Now today is the time to see the part three and the part four for this like question what like which we, uh, which we are taking. So we, today we are going to see this problem number three and the problem number four. Fine. So let me just quickly revise that what was the question asking to us. So the question was saying that on an average, a certain computer parts last 10 years. The length of time the computer parts last is exponentially distributed. So this was a, like on our question that on an average, a certain computer parts last 10 years. So they were just taking an average that, okay, this is the average that basically a computer part, the, the, the parts which are in computer, they just last for 10 years, fine. The length of time the computer parts last is exponentially distributed. So then the problem one and problem two were asking. The first one was, was asking to find is the probability that a computer power lasts for more than seven years. So we have just found out the probability. Like we have found the probability, the probability of X is greater than seven, fine. And what was the second part asking to us? Second part was saying that we need to like go find out the average. Okay, so on the average, how long would five computer parts last if they are used one after another, fine. So this was the problem number two, which we were having. Now, what is our problem number three saying from us for today? So, it is saying that 80% of computer parts last how much long? Okay, so it is saying, it is asking us to find the like probability, uh, find the percentile this side. So, whenever, whenever it is written that 80% of computer parts last how much long? So, what we just take, we take the value of k. We find out the value for k, right? So that is the same procedure which we are following in the previous videos whenever I have just told you about the questions. So there I have already told you that basically whenever it comes something like that 80% of computer parts last how much long. So basically at that part we just found the percentile. Okay so let's get started with the things and let me just write here as problem 3. Okay fine. So let, let's like make the write the things here. So what is the problem 3? It is asking us to find 80th percentile fine it is asking us to find the 80th percentile okay so now what i would just take i would just take here k so k is one of my variables so i just like like uh, right here let k is equal to 80th percentile so k is one of my variable which i have just taken and okay just let me raise that thing okay so i would just write here as percentile so here i have just taken a, a like a variable that is k and i have assigned the value as uh, like uh, I have taken it as 88th percentile. So for uh, like demonstrating the 88th percentile, for denoting 88th percentile, I have taken a variable and that variable is k. Fine, that is that. Now what I need to do here is that. What I would do, I would just solve for k, right? I would just find the value for k, that what is the value for k. So before doing that thing, let, let's plot a graph for that, okay? So I would just write and make a graph this side. So for that, let me just, okay, so this is the x and y axis. And in the x and y axis, I will just take a different color this side. So I will just like take, okay, not this one. So just let me go to the colors. And either I will just take this one. Fine. Now here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to like write the values. And before that, firstly, I'm just going to plot the graph itself. So it is something like that, right? Here I would just write the value as 0 0.1. So we have already found that what is the 0 0.1. So that was the value for m, fine. That is 0 0.1. Here it is my x axis. Here nothing. And then what I need to do is that I need to just like um, write for the value of k. Okay. So I would just take it from here as 0 and let's say just mark it as k. So there. k. Okay. Now what I would write, I would just need to find the probability. Probability that x is less than k, which is equal to 0 0.80. Right. So we're like 80th percentile. That is 0 0.80. So here I need to find the probability that, uh, the, sorry, I just know the probability for x is less than k is 0 0.80. So one, like one part is solved. Now I need to find the value for k. I would again just go down from here and yeah, just one second. Fine. Okay, now here I would just start solving for the value of k. And for that, what I would do, I would just like um, write k is equal to ln of 1 minus 0 0.80 upon minus of 0 0.1 right this is this was one of the formulas which we have already seen in the previous video 
basically uh, previous questions which we have solved in this ongoing series are just for the questions for data uh, question for statistics right so if you just want to like have a proper note that basically what i'm just doing is you can just refer that video basically in the previous week i have just posted that and in that i have already explained and basically i have explained very detailed that basically how do we just find the value for k and like what's the formula for finding the value of k and all that things i have already taken fine so i've just written k is equal to ln and in brackets i would write 1 minus 0 0.80 which is upon and minus 0 0.1 so it will just like uh, it will compute the form, uh, like uh, answer so it would be just something like 16.1 years fine you can just calculate the things on your own fine so it would be something 16.1 years fine so what was my uh, like uh, question that was asking it to me it was like 80 percent of computer parts last how much long so it was like uh, giving uh, asking me that 80 percent of computer parts the parts like which are in computer so uh, 80 percent of that parts can last how much long so yeah if it was like uh, just asking me some time right so that is why i just like wrote here the this years fine so 16.1 so let's quickly write the final output here so here i would just write 80 percent 80 percent of the computer 80 percent of the computer parts last 16.1 years fine so this this is the like final answer for this problem number four now moving towards sorry problem number three now moving towards the problem number four quickly now here let me just go above and see that what's the problem number four this side what's the question right so okay now uh, one second this problem number three is completed so let's just let me quickly highlight that thing also that it is completed fine done now fourth one now what it is basically asking to me it is saying that what is the probability that a computer parts last between 9 and 11 years so basically it has given me a range that what is the probability that a particular computer part lasts between 9 and 11 years so for that what i would do for that also we'll just quickly find out the probability so for one what we were doing for finding the probability when we just given that the probability that computer part lasts on most more than seven years so what we were doing is like applying that formula that is one minus p x less than seven and like uh, all the things were cancelled and at final we just got e to the power minus m into x so we just quickly put the value for m and x in this particular one and we just like got the output so in the like um, this fourth problem we are going to do a little bit of same thing not not all not all okay little bit same thing so i would just write here as what i need to do is that i need to find the probability of x less than uh, na, uh yeah x greater than 11 and less uh, sorry greater than 9 and less than 11 fine so i just need to find the probability that x is greater than 9 and x is uh, less than 11 fine what i would just do here here i would just firstly write okay so before that i would just plot the graph here okay i would just plot the graph so for plotting that graph what i would take i would just take another color okay and here i would just take the x and y axis okay so this one is not like which i just wanted i just wanted to take this one fine okay now i would just quickly plot the values here whatever they were and I would, for that i would just take this one color fine so firstly i would just make that graph okay not this one so just one second just let, let me take a little bit thicker pen fine so i would just like plot the graph here so it goes something like this so at at the downside it is like little bit more closer so i would just take it as fine now now it's fine okay so here the value is 0 0.1 we have already calculated the, this value and basically the plot something my, my graph something goes goes like this okay so from here like it is a very large axis you cannot see so here i just explain that my plot goes something like this fine and this is my x axis this is zero i would just like take it as nine i would just take it as 11 so what i need to do find is that i need to find this middle portion middle portion is probability of x is greater than 9 and less than 11 fine and i just need to find the middle portion what is present here and that that is this one portion i need to find this one fine so we're just doing the things for this portion 
Okay, now just let me do the further procedure for finding the answer. I would just write here as probability of x is less than 11 minus probability of x is less than 9. Right? And I would just like write something like this. I would just subtract both of the probabilities. I would put the formula. That is 1 minus e to the power minus m into x. Okay, and for same for this one also, I will just put the same one. That is 1 minus e to the power minus m into x. Fine. This is done. Now what I would do, I would just put the values, what are the values we are having. Fine. So I would just write 1 minus e to the power. The value for m was 0 0.1. That is 0 0.1. And this x. So for that, I am just putting as multiplication sign. The value for x in this case is 11. Right. So I would just write it as 11. Fine. I would just put minus. Here what I would do, I would do the same thing, 1 minus e to the power, the value for m is 0 0.1, but in this case, the value for x is 9, right? So, I would just put this dot here and I would just put as 9. So, just let me change one thing and let me erase this subtraction sign from here and just let me quickly put that dot itself, fine? So, dot which I have just written between 0 0.1 and 11, that dot is like denoting the multiplication, fine? And the... Uh, dot which I have just put between 0 and 1 that is the decimal so basically that has been counted as 0 0.1 multiplied by 11 this is done now after computing the like solving this equation what you will just get you will just get the output 0 0.6671 okay so the first one is for the, the first one is this and for the second one is 0 0.5934 fine so for the second one is this and when you just going to subtract both of these values you are going to get 0 0.0737 Fine. So, this is the basically probability that the, the value for x is greater than 9 and less than 11. So, I will just write that thing here itself. The probability, the probability that a computer, the probability that a computer lasts between 9 and 11 is 0 0.0737. Fine. So, this is the probability that a computer lasts between 9 and 11. So, let me just quickly give you a one more revision that what we have done right now. So, in the problem number 2, we have just found, found the 80th post, the value for k and that is 16.1 years. So, this is the basically answer for our question that it was asking 80% of the computer parts can last at most 16.1 years. And the problem number 4, it was asking us to find the probability that basically the computer, uh, yeah, just let me see that the computer lasts between 9 and 11. We need to find the probability that a computer lasts between 9 and 11. So, this is basically the probability which we have found and that is 0.0737, fine. So, the question number 4 is also completed in this and now let, let me see that basically what is just left here or I just uh, need to tell more. So, I would just highlight this thing also. Okay, just let me go one more time above. Okay, fine. Just let me do that thing here. Fine. So, all of the four questions are completed which we have taken for solving this problem number 1, problem number 2, problem 3 and problem 4. So, all of these four are completed here. Now, here we just come to an end for this question series which we were just taking on the statistics. And here I have covered uh, like about three to four questions. In that, I have sub parts, and in that, I have covered all of the topics, almost all the topics which I have taken and uh, which like consist of important questions and which can be asked in the form of a question to you. Now, from the next video, we'll start, uh, we'll resume the topics which, which we were just uh, learning. And the uh, Thing is all for this okay so basically this is all for today till then thank you and bye bye